My Candy Go For It W Washer Dryer Won't Work The Stain Buster Light and the 90 Minute Timer Light just flashes then all lights go out, the door locks and nothing works. Hi. What you need to do is count the number of flashes from them lights in between the pause and let me know. Regards. Hi thanks for helping. The stop light flashes 6 times, then the 2 lights, stain buster and 90 minutes, flash 4 times. Hi. Ok the error code is the 4 flashes. Which this code means an anti-flood fault. What you need to do is remove the top and locate the pressure switch. It's round and will have a few wires on it and a thin hose. Remove the hose and blow hard down it. Then remove the hose and check for any holes or splits in there. If there is then the hose will need to be replaced. If the hose is fine and you have blown down the hose retry the washer and see how it goes from there. If still the same then it's possibly the pressure switch or the control unit at fault. But try the above first as sometimes this cures it. Regards I have blown down three pipes near the powder drawer, not really sure they are right ones, you say thin but they are around 10 millimeters in side diameter, not sure if that is classed as thin. Can you advise if I have the right pipes, my washer is around 12 months old, the pipes look fine with no cracks or splits. Hi. Then pipes are the fill hoses. Can you see a round disc type switch? It will have a few wires on it and the thin hose is on the bottom of this. The pressure switch is usually on the right hand side near the control board. Regards. Okay, I think we found the hose, but no luck. It still won't run, it seems like it will start to work, makes the normal washing machine noises for about a second then stops and has the error message. I can't do anything with it at all. Hi. Okay does any water enter the washer at all? Regards. There is water in it, my partner managed to get it to drain out. The washing in the machine was soaking wet so water did enter, and it's washed away some of the powder from the drawer. But now it won't drain, it sounds like it is putting water into the drawer and then stopping. Hi. Okay if you set it to a spin cycle will the pump run and drain the water out? Will the drum turn at all? Regards. I can't get it to spin, I had to do a reset, it will only let me do anything if I do the following. Turn off at the wall until the door opens, open the door, turn back on at the wall select program press start close door it is just sitting there, I can adjust the spin speed too, which I couldn't do before once it was set on the spin cycle. Hi. Ok set on a spin it does nothing at all? Just a thought have you checked the filter at the bottom? Regards Did that, I found a metal tag from a zip in there, it started to do a spin, lasted about a minute then stopped. I looked in the filter again and it was clean, but loads of soapy water came out, I have tried to run it again and I just sits there again. It can't be the auto weight thing, as there is no washing in the drum. Hi. Ok leave the filter out and set it to a spin again and look inside the pump at the back and see if the impeller X shape is spinning round. If it isn't then is there a humming noise coming from there? Regards. Yes it goes round, without the filter in it worked for about 30 seconds or so then stopped. There is no humming coming from the impeller when it isn't spinning. 
It started the slow spin like it would to distribute the weight, but that was it. I have no lights flashing, but the program seems stuck. Hi. Okay, to be honest, this is sounding a bit like the control board itself is playing up here, I'm afraid. If this is the case, then the board will need to be replaced to cure this. But if the pump and motor runs for 30 seconds or so then stops then it does look like it may be a faulty board here. Regards If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.